That exclusive, the brand new cruise ship about to set sail with its own roller coaster. Will Reed is on board in Fort Canaveral, Florida, getting ready, getting ready to take a ride. I can see you on the camera right before we came to you. You look a little nervous, my friend. Yeah, and I hear you laughing, Cecilia. So what's that all about? Is it too late to mention that roller coasters and heights aren't really my thing? I guess it is too late because I'm about 200 feet in the air on a cruise ship, and this is a roller coaster that I'm about to ride on national TV. This is the Mardi Gras. It's setting sail tomorrow. Carnival says it has an emphasis on safety and on fun. This morning, a one-of-a-kind ride ready for takeoff. Ready. Full. Bolt is the first ever roller coaster at sea, debuting on the highest deck of Carnival's newest ship, Mardi Gras, making its maiden voyage tomorrow. We sit around and try to come up with great new guest experiences, and why not? A roller coaster on a ship, first ever. The launch delayed for more than a year after the pandemic brought the cruise industry to a halt. Now it's set to sail the high seas. Carnival hoping its new features and safety procedures on board will draw back passengers. We'll bring guests on for the very first time on Saturday. And of course, we continue to work with CDC uh, as things evolve and change to ensure that our number one priority is protecting the health and safety of our guests and our crew. Just this week, at least two passengers on celebrity cruise ships tested positive for COVID-19. In both instances, the passengers were removed from the ship and no other positive cases were found on board. Carnival says they require 95% of guests on board to be vaccinated in accordance with the CDC and encourages masking for unvaccinated passengers who will have to take multiple COVID tests before and during their cruise. As the Delta variant spreads, do you expect that you might update your policy regarding vaccinations? If things need to change because of the variant, then we'll adjust. We've been, we've been adjusting for 17 months, but the main thing is we have restarted sailings. Guests have just had great cruises, lots of positive feedback, and our crew just can't wait to welcome guests back. Jeff and Sherilyn Carlson are fully vaccinated, and they say they can't wait to get on board. We've been cooped up for 16, 17 months like everybody else has, and, and cruising was our a way to get away. Okay, uh, I'm on the thing, I'm strapped in. I guess it's time to bolt. Let's go, Bruce, send me out here. I've got a camera here. Let's do it. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear and see me. The, the top speed on this thing is 40 miles per hour. We're gonna go a little slower uh, because I asked them to and so that it doesn't look too crazy on TV, but you get a 360 degree view here. Everything you can see, there's Port Canaveral. This is a big turn, requires a lot of core strength. Mini golf course down below. Again, we're on top of ship that took years to build. This uh, coaster was assembled in Germany, then put on the ship in Finland. So really a global effort uh, as we go downhill and my stomach drops, guys. We're about halfway through, uh, feeling okay so far. Hope you doubled up on the Dramamine. I, yeah, right? I mean, okay, so this is what we're seeing. Lots of fun here on the playground. That looks like a water slide. That's the great expanse of the Atlantic Ocean here. It's about to turn the camera around. There's everyone waiting for me back at home. Oh, we're turning. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, the stomach drops out of nowhere are, are fun. This, we're coming around the dark side of the moon here. This is Carnival's, sorry, I'm a little blown out by the sun, but this is Carnival's famous funnel that you'd recognize anywhere. And as we go 200 feet in the air, we're done. Uh, 200 just, feet in the air. I just want to know if Bruce cracking. could hear us if we want. If yeah. we asked him to kick up the speed, Will, yeah. what would, mm -hmm. would he do? Crank it up. Us? Well, yeah, no, I, I, I cut all your comms. I cut all your comms except for to me. I control that. said it felt that. good well, when well, you met well, the officer. Say, thank you for being a good sport. That's what happens when you get that, that assignment to Venice. We pay you back by yeah, putting exactly. the roller <laughs> on a cruise ship. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.